bit of the uh, wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to Peach's wedding on Saturday? Sure. My wife loves weddings. The bigger the better. And ours was just us and the preacher. Oh, this one's going to be a big one for sure. Plenty of eating, plenty of drinking. Ah, I guess that drinking part don't make much of a difference to you and the missus, does it, McNeely? Where do you go now? McNeely! McNeely. McNeely. Uh, Sarge, Sarge, you see McNeely? Hey, hey, grab, grab a phone, will you? They're going crazy. Uh, now, ma'am, I've heard of husbands who go to the corner store for a pack of cigarettes and wind up in California. You just give him a little time and see if he doesn't show up. Grab a phone. Have you seen McNeely anywhere? No. No. Look, I understand what you're saying. No, I'm sorry. We can't file a missing person report until the person has been missing for 24 hours. Yes, ma'am, I understand. But if you could just hold for one moment. Thank, th thank you. Hello. Y y yes, sir. P please, c can you hold? What's going on? People are calling. Something about a disappearances. What? I don't know. Sir, car 97 has been in the yes, crash. Yes, sir. Bradford's hurt. I'm uh, sending an ambulance. Yes. Just How's Reed? He's not there. Not there? Where is he? Well, I don't know, Lieutenant. Bradford said he was driving and that he wasn't there, and then the car crashed. <laughs> Bradford's hallucinating. Send back. Yes, Lieutenant. Oh, please. Tell me, you've got to do something. My husband and daughter, they're gone. They were there. I looked, and then they vanished. Just relax, relax. Listen, we're going to help you. Let me let me get you a glass of water. You don't understand. My husband's gone. They were there, and then they vanished. I looked, and they're Excuse gone. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You have got to hear this. The news. This is the kind of Light thing down. we've been witnessing since just a few hours I said ago. Shut up. In case you've just joined us, this is WNN's continuous global coverage of what can only be described as the greatest disaster or possibly attack in human history. It's uncertain what has brought about the catastrophic events we're witnessing. There is still no explanation forthcoming. It seems that all efforts around the globe are aimed at trying to control and stabilize the situation. Here is what we do know. At 4.59 Eastern Time, millions of people literally vanished off the face of the Earth, both from this country and from around Somebody, the world. Anybody's the situation any idea what's certainly going defies on. conventional explanations. Reporter Mark Parsons has been collecting information from various sources and files this global report. With the sudden disappearance of literally millions of people, the entire planet is experiencing fear and confusion. You never saw it coming. You never imagined it could be possible, but it did happen. You've seen it with your own eyes. Millions have instantly vanished, yet you have been left behind. What happened? Where did they go? What happens now? Stay tuned, because this is an urgent message for you and for those who remain. This filling station was destroyed when an unmanned vehicle collided with the pumps. Highways are plugged with accidents caused by moving vehicles whose drivers seem to have just disappeared. Two helicopters collided over an airbase in the Philippines as their blades touched after one of the pilots vanished. Fear has launched the greatest mobilization of military force that the world has ever seen. All over the world, skies are filled with... Hello, I'm Pastor John Hagee, and I'm one of those who have vanished off the face of the earth. Yet I knew this event would take place, so I wanted to send this message to personally explain what has happened to you and to help you make the most important decision in your life. I know you're going through terror and confusion right now. Your nerves are frayed, and if someone you loved was among those who vanished, you're probably almost out of your mind. But if you will listen to me, there is hope. There are answers to all of your questions. Let me start by saying that if you did lose someone you love, do not weep for them. Rejoice for them, because this very day, 
They're in the presence of the Lord that they love so dearly. That's right. No matter what other explanations you may have been given, the truth is that this event that you have just witnessed is something we Christians have called the rapture. And as true believers in the Bible and in Jesus Christ, we knew that this would happen. We've been taken home to live forever with our Heavenly Father. That is what's happened, and that is where all the people have gone. You ask, how could we have known that such a day would come? We knew because the Bible predicted this incredible event before it happened. And because of the detail the Bible has given to us, we can see into the future where you're living and know exactly what you're going through right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are receiving reports from all around the world that may shed some light on exactly what might have happened. We'll start with videographer Alan Cambero in London. The situation here in central England is absolutely out of control. There are hardly words to describe it. With reports of tens of thousands of, I guess what you would have to call vanishings, now reported, the impact has been staggering. Here on a highway not far from London, thousands of vehicles suddenly became deadly projectiles when their drivers simply disappeared into thin air. It's almost impossible to comprehend. In a tiny Swiss village, this is the scene after a suddenly unmanned passenger train with more than 60 cars race into a train station at full speed, smashing into the back of another train without warning. This aircraft plummeted to the ground in a huge fireball, an instant after the tower lost contact with the pilot. This helicopter lost altitude without explanation and crashed into the water below. The pilot's clothes were found, but no body was recovered. And citizens around the world are reacting in the only way most people could expect, with total panic. Here in Tokyo, hundreds of people were gathered around this lobby, listening to a top government official. As he spoke, however, he vanished in front of them. No one at the time could possibly have known that the same thing had happened in every city on Earth. And no matter where you look around the world, it seems that almost everyone has lost someone. And there was total mayhem on city streets everywhere as people rush around trying to find their loved ones. Where the people went, however, is anyone's guess. NASA and the crew aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia report no sighting from beyond this world, at least none that our instruments can detect. On the military front, all hostilities have simply ceased in chaos and confusion. Any military forces that can be spared patrol the borders of their respective nations, but not one of those nations has any idea who or what they are looking for. Looting and rioting are commonplace, and as one New York police chief told us, it's as if a cloud of evil suddenly descended upon us tonight. Unfortunately, many of the world's peace officers are being forced to pay the price. Why were they taken? Why were we left behind? For WNN, I'm Janet Shutt. One world, one network. This is WNN. My name's Lieutenant Scott. I know this is a difficult time for you, ma'am, but if you could answer a few questions, it might help us. Ma'am? She's been like that for an hour, sir. She's not the only one. Even Mason's pretty messed up. Well, and we have got reports of looting all over. I want every available man and car on the street now. Yes, sir. And get me some answers. The world is not going to know what hit it. It's going to be a disaster beyond anything the world has ever seen. It is going to be a time of chaos and pain. With this massive disappearance, countless problems will instantly arise. Cars without drivers will cause horrific accidents. Planes will crash as Christian pilots suddenly disappear. Fires are going to spread. Emergency crews will be depleted and unable to cope. Stores and counters left unattended will be looted and vandalized. Communication systems like phones, radios, and televisions will cease to function. Hospitals will be overrun. But that will be far from the worst of it. Many will lose their minds. What you're going through right now is almost beyond imagination. You may have even seen someone that you love vanish right before your eyes and there was no chance to say anything. 
not even to say goodbye. I'm just trying to establish if your experience is the same as the others. Okay. We were at the store, all of us, my husband and Samantha. Samantha's your daughter? Yes. We were in the store and I was looking at things and then my husband started to say something. There was a pause or maybe he inhaled, I don't know, but when I turned he was gone and so was Sam. Could they have gone somewhere? No, there wasn't time. They were there and they were gone, vanished, and then everyone started screaming. Carol? We're going to talk to everybody else. Now I'll get back to you. But I want you to know we're doing the best that we can. Come along, man. I'll get you some coffee. You're not going to find him, are you? Of course we are. You're kind of big. They were everything I cared about. They were my life. I know. In a massive world crisis, there is no doubt that you will be desperate for answers. So please listen to me. Many theories will begin to form about what has happened. Everything from aliens from outer space to theories about human evolution will begin to be put forth. There will be news stories and special reports looking at every angle of the vanishing. No matter how far-fetched, in calmer times, these theories would be laughed at and totally rejected. But now, in the face of the unexplainable, these bizarre theories will somehow sound possible. Experts from many different fields, including religious leaders, will sound like they have the answers, but they do not. They're feeding upon the panic and the chaos of the world, and they're using man's intellect to try to explain God's plan. The one thing that I can guarantee you is the one thing that will not be believed is the truth that Jesus Christ has appeared in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and called his people home. ...explanation for what has happened. Ronald Weston is standing by in London. Ronald, how are the people in Britain dealing with all of this? How are they dealing with the disappearance of literally millions of people? What possible explanations do they have? I have with me Professor Thornton from the Sociology Department of Oxford. He has dedicated his entire life to the study of social evolution. Professor, what happened today? Well, I was able to hear Bishop Bessager a moment ago, and I agree with him. What the Bible spoke about concerning human evolution has been spoken of by great leaders of all religions in years gone by. The fact is, while this is startling, tremendously startling, this is not a surprising event. In fact, this is simply the next step in the social evolution process. Bishop Messager made mention of the same thing, but how does this tie in with evolution? Look, do you think evolution was something that happened in a rainforest somewhere a million years ago? Evolution, by its very nature, is an ongoing process. This step in evolution was the final one humans needed. And what has just occurred all over the world was not physical evolution, it was spiritual. Don't you understand? We are gods. We're gods, huh? I thought I was searching for answers. So what do you make of it? Ah, uh, you don't want to know, Lieutenant. How about our people, who's missing? Uh, McNeely, Reed, Rathwell, the V that we know of. It's gotta be a connection. Come on. This is McNeely's locker. Open reads. Hey, Lieutenant, do you really think it... Open it. Look at this. Mason, what do you make of this? Yes, sir. Uh, McNeely was really into the Bible, born again and all that, but wasn't pushy about it. 
Yeah, Reed's got one too. What about Rathwell, Levy? I don't know, Earl, they were all good cops. They were all Christians, Lieutenant. Everyone that you've named. Talk to those other people. Find out. Yeah. Mrs. Berry, can I ask you about your husband? Yes, Lieutenant. Well, was he religious in any way? Yes, yes he was. He was a Bible-believing Christian. He asked me to go to church with him once. Thanks. Thank you. Miss, please try. We have to know. Was he a Christian? This was a present. It was his. Christian, sir. The banished come from every race and social group, but everyone was a Christian. Lynn. Lynn, answer the phone, huh? Honey, pick it up. Lynn, when you get this message, call me. This is an emergency. There will be confusion for a while, but in the midst of all this chaos and speculation, one man will emerge who seems to have all the answers. I want you to listen to me very carefully right now. Your instincts, your intellect, and every bit of experience you have will urge you to follow this man. He will seem like the greatest leader who ever lived. He will seem like a messiah to you, but he's not. He's the most clever imposter in the universe. He will speak to every nation as a friend. He will support their beliefs and causes. He will captivate the world with his speeches of unity and peace. He will captivate what has happened and offer hope for a better world. The world will fall in love with this man. He will become a world leader, spiritually, financially, and politically. Nations will no longer be divided one from another by social ideologies. People will no longer be divided because of religious beliefs. Everyone will follow this new world leader as a man of world peace. He will be seen as the returned Messiah, a man of great wisdom and power. But it's a charade. He's not God. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. He is the one the Bible calls the Antichrist. And if he has his way, he will win you over to his side and steal your very soul. The entire world is in a total state of shock. The entire world, except for one man, that is. European yeah. Union President Franco Macaluso is the one world leader who seems to have been prepared for this incredible event. As reported yesterday, Macaluso has been calling for world unity and predicted that absolutely anything is possible. If we all only believe together. We now bring you to the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, where President Macaluso addressed the world a short time ago. My children, I come to you today not in the name of another, but in my own name. Let there be no mistake and no misunderstanding. I was the one who created you, who loved you, and watched you grow. Today you know the truth. You know that had I not intervened, you would have destroyed yourself my creation but that intervention has come at a cost i have had to remove some of the children because they had chosen the way of hate but today is the dawn of a new era an era of peace and prosperity i am the god of your father i am that i am I urge you, don't believe this man. He is not the Messiah. He is the devil incarnate and he will bathe the world in blood. He will rule the world politically, but that's not his ultimate goal. He wants to destroy your soul. It may seem that he has all the answers, but he plans to deceive the whole world. His promises may sound tempting, 
but they are a clever plot that will lead to your destruction. Although many will believe that he is the true God and that all that came before him were imposters, he is really the prince of darkness. He is the son of Satan. Don't listen to this man and don't listen to those who would follow him. You will have to be stronger and more courageous than ever before to resist this man's clever deceptions. We've been waiting for our feed from Jerusalem where President Macaluso has promised to shed some light on the absolutely incredible events of the past 48 hours. Well, clearly the world is ready for this broadcast. In fact, the numbers that I've been hearing are suggesting that this is going to be the most watched telecast in history. Clearly, all the people out there are desperate for some answers. Oh, we're about to go live to Jerusalem for that speech, and our coverage will continue from London. So for Bronson Pearl, I'm Helen Hanna. See you again tomorrow. One world, one network. This is WNN. Children of the world, welcome to a new age of peace and prosperity. Welcome to an age of human enlightenment. Welcome to heaven on earth. I hold in my hand right now the most important book in the history of the world. Unfortunately, it is also the most misunderstood. A long time ago, a man, a deceitful and evil man, a man named Jesus came in my name and deceived many. But his deception has come to an end. His lies of hate, his lies of division and intolerance led you to the brink of destruction. But I have removed the tares from the wheat. I have come in peace and I have brought peace to the world. I have saved you all from certain destruction. This book has told you, by my fruit, you would know me. Now you have seen my good deeds and my miracles. My children, I am here to tell you today that we are ready to take... There will be no mistaking this world leader when he arises on the world stage. He will come from somewhere in Europe, and he will take control of the world with peace accords. One of his acts will be to form a seven-year peace treaty with Israel. This seven-year treaty will seem to prove to the world the commitment to peace that this man represents. The Jewish people will welcome this peace agreement because they will also believe that he is the Messiah. As Jesus himself warned the children of Israel, he said, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. After this peace agreement between Israel and her neighbors, the world will completely believe that this man is more than just a political leader. Everyone will believe that he holds the answers to all the world's problems. When it happens. Right now, with more on the situation in Bonn, here's Sam Medcalf. It has now been confirmed that foreign ministers from the European Union, as well as leading religious dignitaries from around the world, have been meeting all night in this German government building. The attendees began arriving late last evening, apparently being summoned by the men we had all believed to be the European Union president. In fact, however, it is now agreed by virtually the entire planet that he is much more than that. Sir, can you comment on your meetings with President Macaluso? Well. Even with the planet being saved from the brink of almost certain destruction and the haters of peace and unity have been removed, the most incredible sign we have seen has been the realization by the entire world that President Franco Macaluso is indeed who he says he is. I think we can say that we are, yes, living in biblical times. The Messiah of Israel, of the whole world, is living with us and he's living today.
And thanks to him, we are living in peace. He brought peace. That we knew was how we would recognize the true Messiah. He would bring peace. Did the one they called Jesus, did he bring peace? No. Only the true Messiah can do that. I've just received word that we're ready to go live to the embassy in Bonn. <clears throat> As you can see on the monitor, the Messiah has achieved something today that no person has been able to do before now. He has brokered a full and comprehensive peace agreement between two brothers who have been separated for more than 6,000 years. This seven-year far-reaching agreement, however, goes beyond a simple peace between Arabs and Jews. It establishes the basis for a newly agreed to constitution for planet Earth. The Messiah will speak to the world shortly about these incredible developments. Thank you. Don't be deceived by this new world leader. He is the Antichrist, the devil incarnate, and he will bathe the world in blood. He will tell the world that Jesus Christ is an imposter and that all those who believe in him were terribly deceived. Don't believe him. Your very soul is at stake, and to believe him is to welcome eternal damnation. Resisting his seductive words and great promises will be very difficult. You will be tempted as never before. Even the lines between good and evil will be blurred in your mind. You live in a time of great tribulation. It is a day of delusion, a day of deception and trickery. It is the earth's darkest hour. God's Holy Spirit, by living in all true believers, held back the spread of evil. But now, that restraining influence is gone along with those who have vanished. But for those of you who have not heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, there is still hope for you. You can still choose to stand for God. Hold it. Freeze that picture. Change that crowd. Next time this airs, I want you to edit in a properly appreciative crowd. Yes, sir. Even God needs your help? Get out. You don't think that he can convince the world who he is without you editing out the people's right to decide for themselves. Well, I see your version of God didn't do much to help you, Miss Hannah. You've got no idea what you're up against. I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. Don't mistake our talk of peace and unity for weakness. People want peace and we'll give it to them. They want to believe they're more than just flesh and blood. And we'll tell them they are. I bet you won't tell them the price. There's no price, Miss Hannah. All they have to do is worship their Messiah. And if they don't? If they don't. If you don't, Miss Hannah, you'll see a side of President Macaluso you can't even imagine. I don't have to imagine, Mr. Parker. You see, I know what's going on. I've read the Bible right to the end. <laughs> then you know you can't win. Oh, it's a battle for souls, Len. And every man will make that choice for himself. They don't even know they have a choice. Do you have any idea who he is and what he's capable of? You worship him or you die. That's your choice. So did you find her? What's going on? Anything new? Yeah, this, uh, this Macaloosa guy seems to have calmed things down. People are going home, the phones have stopped ringing. Whatever this guy's selling, people are buying. I don't think so. It's too easy. We're missing something here, Lieutenant. Yeah, like the chaos and confusion, there is finally some order again. At what cost? You ever hear of Big Brother? Hey, if this guy really is the Messiah, then what do we have to worry about, huh? So someone steps forward and calls himself God. Maybe I am Messiah. Maybe I am God. Mason, if you can do what this guy's done, then I believe. So, you think this Macaluso is the Messiah, like those Israelis? Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, the rest of the world believes it, right? 
And look at what he's done. The world is at peace for the first time. You're forgetting we're missing a few million people. Lieutenant Scott. I understand you're in temporary command of this precinct. That's right. Who are you? Rick Bain. One Nation Earth. Never heard of it. That's heard of you. For lack of a better term, let's call it military intelligence. Military intelligence, huh? So what do you want? Might be better if we discuss this in your office. Make no mistake about it, this is the devil's day. The truth about the rapture will be hidden. The truth about the Antichrist, the new world leader, will also be hidden. And every shred of truth about the true and the living God will be hidden. Now that the Antichrist rules the world, he will use all of the world's technology to further his plans. The mass media will be controlled by him. All of the world's powerful surveillance and computer technology will also be controlled by him. All of the world's military forces and weapons will be controlled by him. Big Brother is now watching and Big Brother is Satan. With all of this power, the Antichrist will enforce a system whereby everyone will have to pledge allegiance to him. It will involve a mark in the right hand or forehead and without this mark, no one will be able to buy or sell. But it's not really just about buying or selling. It's about choosing who you will serve, God or the devil. As it was true in Joshua's time, it is true in your day. You must choose whom you will serve. And to choose God puts you at odds with the Prince of Darkness, the Antichrist. I know what's happened. I know what's happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me through. I've got to see the lieutenant. I know what's happened. I have proof. Sorry, ma'am. He's in a meeting. You don't understand. I know where they've gone. I know what's happened. Really? Well, if you have a theory, ma'am, I'm sure we'd all like to hear it. It's not a theory. It's in the Bible. The Bible predicted this. My husband gave this to me. I'm, I'm supposed to read it, but I didn't. Please, take a look. Lower your voice. I'm sorry, but you will not be allowed to create further hysteria. Hysteria? I'm trying to help. In the Bible, it says that Detective, we... Detective, you'd better confiscate that material. Now, wait a minute. I support the government, but the last time I checked, this was still a free country. It's a free country, but no one has the freedom to stand up in a crowded theater and yell fire, confiscate that material, and take her into custody. On what charge? Incitement to riot. Incitement to civil disobedience. And for her own personal protection. Lieutenant. Better do what he says. What are you doing? Sorry, ma'am. No, you can't do this! Very quickly, if you choose to believe in Jesus Christ, you will be persecuted for your belief. The Antichrist will try to kill you. It's going to be very, very tough. You are a baby Christian, but God has placed 144,000 evangelists on the earth who are preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Listen to them. Mason, what exactly are you trying to say? I'm saying that the lady is right. M merely trying to warn you. The catchings away, the vanishings, whatever you want to call it, it means that the Bible is true. Am I interrupting anything? Not at all, Mr. Bain. Officer Mason was just going out on patrol. <laughs> Nostalgia. Could be dangerous, Lieutenant. This book promises only chaos. We have a great leader now. 
leading us forward into a world of peace and order. You're a lawman. You should understand that. I only understand when my wife is missing. And I don't remember voting to let you run the world. We don't need a vote. Wake up, Mr. Scott. Put aside your personal concerns. Your wife chose her beliefs over her own husband. And now she's left you for another? Does she really deserve your loyalty? Take a look at what's happening all over the world. You need to think carefully and well. Which side are you on, Lieutenant? Today is your day. I am about to show you wonders beyond anything you have ever imagined. I am here to lead you into a whole new world of possibilities. In this new world, you will discover the powers of divinity that I have buried deep within your soul. But you must go together as a single creator. You know how I have removed the tares from the wheat. But even having seen this, there are those who have chosen not to join in this great moment. It is as if they are cancer cells in our collective body. And I tell you today that until they have been removed, you cannot experience what I have prepared for you. In every nation, the reaction to the Messiah's speech is the same, down with the haters. I'm reporting live tonight from just outside County Stadium, where tens of thousands of people gathered to watch the Messiah's speech on the big screen only a few hours ago. And as the crowds poured out into the streets afterward, we saw tremendous demonstrations, not only of the excitement about what lies ahead, but also of the anger toward those who are still standing in the way. Yeah, I, I don't see how these haters think they can put themselves and their paranoid ideas ahead of the rest of the whole world. Let's face it, these are the same narrow-minded religious ideas that have kept the world away from peace for far too long. And now the Messiah is finally here, and they're standing in his way. It's wrong. I can hardly wait. The Messiah says that we're all gods, that we have unbelievable powers within us all. Yeah, we do. Oh, whatever it takes, we got to get rid of those haters that are standing in our way. And that's exactly what's happening around the world. Christians everywhere are being hunted down and arrested. They've been taken from their homes. Many of them have been Despite the arrest, they refuse to renounce Christ or to pray. We face an to reach for the
the reports continue to pour in. Jails across the world are filled to the brim with those arrested tonight. At this facility in Paris, world citizens are so enraged with those they truly believe to be standing in the way of world peace that they are continuing to try to attack them over the prison gate. Meanwhile, the hunt for New Testament Bibles continues, and the once revered books are being burned from one side of the world to the other. What is truly ironic is the fact that the very book that had once divided the world is now bringing it together. Indeed, we are now witnessing the very unification of mankind that President Macaluso predicted before any of this began. The world is indeed united in a common hatred of Christianity and of Jesus Christ. And that's the point I want to make publicly right now. The Antichrist will make it seem very logical and very right that those who do not follow him should be killed. It will seem that those standing against him are being narrow-minded and enemies of the state. But don't be fooled. It's a deception. Remember that this is a battle for human souls and for eternal salvation. Even though all the world turns against Jesus Christ, you must not. Mason, something's going on, and I don't like it. Mm, what do you mean, sir? Mr. Bain's been telling me some pretty unbelievable things. I've been doing some of my own research, sir. The Bible is right. It predicts that the entire world be forced to worship an antichrist. I think that's where Bain comes in. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Mr. Bain, you can arrest him. Hey, Lieutenant, uh, what have I done? I'm sorry, Mason, you've become a threat. Take him away. Lieutenant, you're going to be sorry about this. You're all going to be sorry about this. I'm very pleased, Mr. Scott. You made the right decision. I took an oath, Mr. Bain. To serve and protect. Exactly. Why don't we fix you up with the Messiah's mark of allegiance? What do you say to that, Captain Scott? As I've said before, there are 144,000 evangelists that God has placed on this planet, and you need to listen to them. You need to let them guide you. You live in a time of divine judgment and great tribulation, but they can show you the truth. God does have a plan for you. He has made a way for you. In fact, do you know that even death cannot stand between you and God? In fact, when the rapture took place, do you know who were the first to go? It was those who had accepted Jesus, but who had died before the rapture. Hi, Dad. What was it, Dad? What made you decide with all of your heart to believe all of this stuff? I mean, you never saw in your entire lifetime what I saw in this past week. This Macaluso guy, well... He is the real thing, Dad. I saw him. I saw him do things that nobody could possibly do. He did something not even Jesus could do. He brought peace to the whole world. You know, I feel as if everybody wants to believe what this guy says. I want to believe what he says, but there's just something that's holding me back. I can't explain it, but it's as if something's tugging at me. Well, Helen's part of it, Dad, but there's something else. <laughs> oh, God, Dad. I wish you were here right now. You always knew what to do, what to say. You always did.
For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Shining out from him like sunlight from the skies. Guilt in my confusion disappeared in sweet release. And every fear I'd ever had just melted into peace. shall sound and the dead shall be raised. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Now, because we have recorded this message before the rapture, I know that there will be many of you watching before these events take place. And you might be fooling yourself into thinking that you can wait for that day to decide whether to serve God. I want to tell you that would be the worst decision you could ever make. How do you know that you will live another day? You are not guaranteed one breath beyond the one you are breathing right now. In fact, the Bible says, boast not thyself about tomorrow. But there is something else. If you hear and understand the gospel message today and reject it, and if the rapture takes place, you will not only face the deception of the Antichrist, but the Holy Spirit will not call you to repentance during the tribulation. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the time of decision. The Bible says, choose you this day whom you will serve. Dear Helen, I may be gone, but don't worry. I'm with the Lord now, and please believe it's true, Helen. It's not too late for you. God will help you. All you have to do is ask. I love you. Grandma. Please forgive me for being so stubborn. So 
somehow I always knew Grandma was right when she told me I needed you to wash away my sins. I'm asking you now, please, come into my heart and my life. Forgive my sins. Father spoke, the demons died. How could you have been so blind? There will be many reasons not to follow Jesus Christ in this time of great tribulation. But remember that the rewards of heaven far outweigh the pain you may endure here on the earth. The choice you are making will decide your eternal destiny. You can avoid persecution here on earth, but for that decision you pay with your eternal soul. Or you can follow Christ and die a martyr's death. The Antichrist most definitely will kill you in this tribulation period. Your only chance to be saved now is martyrdom. Heaven and all of its glory is worth it. Make sure you choose the gift of eternal life that only a belief in Jesus Christ can give you. Don't delay another moment. Make the decision now and give your life to Christ. Only He can save you.